Talk with Liquid Shano 1973 podcast, where nothing is off limits in this crazy thing we call life. So sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and start talking. Here's your host, Shane Lakita. Good morning, all you good looking folks out there. I know that you are, whether you're looking at things through tablets or listening on your phone or on a desktop, or wherever you're at, I know that you're out there, and you are looking for some oomph for the day, or just calibrating, and taking a look at where you're at, so I really appreciate you joining, and listening to this, another podcast, for the Coffee Talk with Liquid Channel 1973 podcast show, and as the deep voice dude in the beginning said to all of you, I'm your host, Shane Lakita. so thank you, first of all, for joining, and second of all, just to kind of give you a little bit of a, a check here, we uh, had a huge meeting yesterday, and I know I wrote about it in the Coffee Talk blog, and I, I chatted a little bit more about how I was getting together with, uh, you know, like hundreds of people to be able to sit down and talk about what the focus is for 2018 and how if we continue to do the same things that we've always done, we won't be able to grow exponentially and financially and all the other different avenues of the business side of the house. But the theme was all about what kind of things can we do in 2018 to stretch our limits, think differently about things, and really do things differently than we have in the past to continue to grow and be better. Wait, that that sounds a whole lot like what we talk about all the time, isn't it? I mean, we talk about all the time in our journeys that we need to change the game and focus on things that we've done in the past where we can learn from them, but do things differently moving forward because you're not going to really change your path until you do that in your journey, whether it's, you know, your health journey, lifting weights, running, losing pounds, whatever it is, you've got to change things up. And I thought about that all day yesterday, but that's not what my coffee talk is about, but I wanted to share that with you because I'm sure that we'll have another day where we're going to sit down and chat about that aspect of it, especially when we get to about midpoint of 2018, where are we at, and we can reflect on if we're changing things the way we need to, and are we thinking outside the box the way that we should. So this coffee talk actually is one that I've done a few times in the past, and what it's all about is... It's all about you never know who's watching. And I know I've talked about it before, and I've talked about my son who's 12 turning 13 and how he has made reference to and discussions about my behaviors and the things that I do and the way that I handle myself and the way that I try to be uh, a good dad and a good husband and a positive influence on society. And he notices those things, and he sees that from afar, and he watches, and he really embraces certain aspects of it. And I can now see some characteristics and things that I would do where he thinks things through thoughtfully and with his heart. And it's it, it's so amazing to watch as it goes. But the theme of that, and I can't remember exactly what episode that was for podcasts, but it was about you never know who's watching. So always hold yourself to a high standard. Be excellent at the things you do. Try your best to dig in the best that you can. And always do your best. I mean, really, I I know there are basic fundamentals that we tell our children of today's generation, but why can't you tell yourself that? You know, dig in and be the best that you can be because if you live in that mindset, you're going to make impacts on others' lives and yourself all the time. So to continue down that theme of you never know who's watching and you never know who you're inspiring, I'll tell you a story. So there's a guy that I used to work with, with the company that I currently work for now, but this was a, I, I met him about 11 years ago uh, up in Bangor, Maine, and we were, we were sales consultants, and we worked in the same location, and we, we became pretty good friends, and, and uh, we had a little crew of like four of us uh, dudes, and we would go out for beers, and we would just kind of you know connect, and, and there was a good relationship, and it was a lot of good bro time that we would have together, and we would go different places and do different things, and it was a good outlet for us as guys where we were all just getting through and doing things that we need to do, but you need that time where you can you know, shake a hand and pat it back and say, bro, I need you. Let's talk and let's chat, right? And so we all had that outlet, which was great. Well, he was promoted and moved to a different market uh, out in Wisconsin. 
and then out to Tennessee. He moved to different locations. So he, you know, not that we had all fallen off, but, you know, when you're at right next to each other all the time and you're able to go out for beers, your relationship is pretty tight and strong. Well, throughout the time, I mean, it, it, we've we've kept in touch. We've uh, sent each other messages, you know, those kind of things. And he's actually come up back up to Maine, and we went out for a beer tour, and it did all kinds of great things. Um, but you know, when you're away that far from Maine to Tennessee, it's it's a pretty good amount of distance in between each other to be able to lose sight of that bro time that you had at one time, and. Um, so it's interesting because you, you don't realize it until it's kind of away and then you go, whoa, what just happened? So I'm, I'm, I'm layering in this story to kind of paint the picture for you. So bear with me here. So um, I got a message a couple of days ago, a text message saying, hey, can you chat uh, You know, whenever you get a chance? And I said, yeah, I got meetings. I got all kinds of stuff, man. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I did. I was jam-packed the day before. We did like a dinner with our, our elite performers, our top performing um, locations. And then yesterday, all day, I was in meetings until last night. And then I got another message last night saying, hey, uh, if you got a second, you want to chat? I'm like, oh, boy. Well, you know, what's wrong? Is something something up with uh, what's going on is is he going to tell me that there's a uh, something happening you know to him in his life and he just you know or whatever so you 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 know the gears start going and you start worrying so I did I we 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 called each other last night and after talking you know getting the niceties out of the way saying how's it going how you know how things going with your new job blah 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 this that and the other all that stuff he laid out that he wanted to call me because he said that he was doing a lot of travel to go to work in the mornings and he was listening to podcasts and he was listening to books on tape and inspirational stuff to get his mind set right and to get moving in the right direction to be the authentic true person that he wants to be and all that stuff and he said he remembered that I was doing a podcast and he was said he was going to go check it out so he started listening and was inspired and he called me he needed to contact me because he wanted to tell me that he just wanted to tell me that I'm doing a great job with the podcast and the things that I'm saying in short bursts of whatever I'm talking about or whatever the topic is of the coffee talk are inspirational are motivational and are and are well needed especially when you're going through stuff right so he wanted to thank me for the podcast. Now, this is coming from a guy that we all just hung out. We were just boys, and we just drank beers and 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 just had that bro code stuff, and we were uh, good to go. But I'll tell you, I was so inspired and drawn aback by the fact that my buddy calls me. Now, you got to also understand that this podcast has been really all about health journey and all about me putting my thoughts out there to get my head uh, straight and right and tight and everything in my journey. And, and this is the way that I do it is through conversations with you guys, with the blogging, with the writing, with all that stuff. So there was a purpose behind why I started doing it. Well, I, I had no idea that I'm inspiring people outside of that circle, that little sphere of our little weight loss or health related journeys, the people that I've talked to and told about the podcast, I had no idea that I was actually reaching outside of that bubble. So when he told me this, I I was floored, went upstairs, told my wife, and I said, you know, I told her that this guy that I was friends with, she knew, she knew him. And, and, um, you know, we talked about how he had been away for a while. And then he just wanted to call me to tell me that he's inspired and told me to keep going. Now, when you're doing this kind of stuff and you're putting yourself out there and you're having conversations and you're recording yourself and you're at all that, you're, you never know who you're reaching. And sometimes at good days and bad days, you have good days are the ones that you're getting people communicating with you, having conversations with you saying, hey, you know, I, I'm, I was inspired by your coffee talk or dropping a comment or, or leaving reviews and those kind of things. You're feeling good about what you're doing and you feel like you're making impacts on lives and your own life and all that good stuff. Well, it's interesting because when you're doing all that, you just, like, legitimately, you just never know who you're inspiring. You never know whose life you can change by a simple behavior, a word, a phrase, or whatever. 
I mean, if you can't take the approach of, I'm going to be a positive influence on somebody else, and you intentionally do it, that's one thing, right? Because when you're intentionally doing it, you feel good, and you're like, okay, you know what? I'm going to really do this. I'm going to focus on this. This is great. But when you do it, when you're naturally doing things, and you, and like myself, very uncomfortable to put myself out there and continue to truck through this podcast show that I want to be able to continue to inspire and motivate, and then you get some validation from that, that's a really big deal. So I was floored in the evening and it was, you know, it was a little bit later. So I went to bed afterwards, you know, after I crashed from having the long day of meetings and I woke up this morning inspired. I was floored last night, you know, and I messaged him back and said, you made my evening and he, you know, gave me a high five. And this morning I woke up inspired because I know that if I'm just reaching one person outside of my comfortable little sphere of health related people that are trying to be able to get to it but I'm reaching somebody else outside of that and people from my normal walk of life (laughs) so not a lot of people know that what my podcast is all about or even know that I'm doing a podcast because I don't put myself out there to those folks quite yet now I do my mother listens and my sister knows and of course my wife and my son so my immediate family they, they know that I'm doing this but a lot of my friends don't really have an idea that I'm doing this. And one day, you know, I'll share with them and say, hey, check it out. And here's the link and go check it out and tell me what you think or whatever. But for them to naturally already do that and find that part out and then reach out to me to say that they're inspired or they're motivated and I should keep going is a kick in the pants that anyone would need. So with that being said, First of all, thank you, sir, for reaching out to me and just extending a hand to say, keep going. And two, the topic of you never know who you're inspiring by your actions or your words or your behaviors is so very true. So focus on that. Focus on doing good for others. And even if it's an intentional focus, it's okay because what you can do is is if you intentionally do it for multiple days in a row, it then becomes a habit and then you're always doing good things for others. And then it becomes the normal. And then you have people looking at you going, what an inspirational, awesome, positive person they are in society and my life and their life. I want to be like them. Kids will look at you and say, man, I, I, you can't break that guy. He's not, uh, I mean, he continues down the road. And I'm not saying be a positive Patty. And I'm not saying be in Pollyanna and go around going, the world is kumbaya all the time. What I'm saying is just make positive influences in life. Make positive impacts. Do things that matter for others and yourself. Stop just going through life and just humming through. Stop just going through thinking to yourself, oh, whatever good will come, it will come to me eventually because, yeah, you know, good things come to those or good things come to those who wait or whatever. Go get it. Make it happen. Because by your positive influence and the way that you may approach it, you got to go get what you want. And by you being a positive influence towards that, it's going to make your path easier to even get there. And to be honest with you, it may make your path a little tougher because some people just don't like those positive influences. Some people like living in the misery. They like living in the muck. Well, those people you do not need in your life. You don't. So remember, be that influence. Be the type of person that you want to hang out with. If you want to hang out with negative people, awesome. Be the negative person. Get in the muck and the mire and do what you got to do and, and hang out with those folks. But if you want to be a positive influence and you want to then have people that you surround yourself that are of like mind and are going to be positive influences also, there's the sweet spot. If you're inspiring people, you just never know who that might be. You know, if you pay it forward, you help a homeless person, you do uh, volunteer work, you do whatever, or you just, I don't know, let somebody cut in line for you or whatever, whatever it is, you never know who you're going to inspire. And they may walk away and think to themselves, that person at Dunkin' Donuts, not even knowing who you are, that paid for the person behind them inspired me today. And I'm going to do the same or do something similar for somebody else. 
And now you see how the cycle begins. And now you've made a positive impact, a ripple effect in the world. So my friend, I really appreciate you reaching out to me last night and just making it seem that what I'm doing matters. And then I also want to say to all of you that you inspire me every day when you're on here, when we're having conversations, just know that there are many people that are around you that even if they don't say it to you, and even if they don't lay it out there for you to be able to see in black and white, you matter and you're inspiring them. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Coffee Talk with Liquid Shano 1973. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook just by searching for Liquid Shano 1973. Also, do us a favor if you can and leave us some love and rate us on iTunes whenever you get a chance. Until next time. We'll see you on the next Coffee Talk and make it a great day.